Time now to check out all the action from the Waratah Cup quarterfinals. The Waratah Cup quarterfinals double as qualification for the FFA Cup, with the winners from the four games progressing into the main draw, with the losers playing off until seven spots have been filled. Let's take a look at all the quarterfinal action. Sydney Olympic took on Sydney United 58 in a blockbuster quarterfinal at Belmore Sports Ground. The home side started well and they opened the scoring on 20 minutes, though Shirai scoring after a cutback from Braden Sorge. And eight minutes later they had their second goal and Harris Gaitatz has scored from an Evan Kostopoulos cross. Sydney United 58 soon sprung to life though. Alex Ruseski pulling a goal back with a sensational finish, firing the ball into the bottom corner. Two minutes later and Sydney United 58 were level. Urusevsky was fouled by Brendan Hooper and the away side were awarded a penalty. Urusevsky dusted himself off to take the spot kick and he converted, making it 2-2. Olympic would rally in the second half and they would again take the lead in the 53rd minute. Michael Gedkatz is finishing from close range after a goal mouth scramble to make it 3-2. Then the finishing touches were applied with Dimitri Hatsimaratis making it 4-2 with a belter from the edge of the area, the ball clipping the post before finding the net to wrap up the contest. So Olympic take a big scalp and book their passage to the FFA Cup in the process. It was a highly entertaining game for all at Belmore Sports Ground. Parramatta FC met the South Coast Wolves in the second quarter final. The Wolves have been in pretty good form of late and they continued that with the opening goal on 10 minutes. Jordan Murray was sent clear and he coolly finished to make it 1-0. But on 32 minutes, Parramatta FC would equalise. Frank Marty's corner was met by Joshua Simons, his header crossing the line to make it 1-1. On 65 minutes, the Wolves would regain the lead. Ben Zuko's corner didn't look threatening, but it flicked off the head of Blake Brooker and found its way into the net. An own goal, and the Wolves go up 2-1. The Parramatta FC would not go away, and amazingly, they equalised in the final minute. One DJ Jaws' nice work set up Daniel Rizzo, who tucked his effort away nicely to make it 2-2 and forced the game into extra time. The Wolves would spring to life in the extra 30 minute period and Jordan Murray had them back in front scoring his second to make it 3-2. Then four minutes later they stretched it further when Ricky Zuko headed in a Matthew Bailey corner to make it 4-2. And then six minutes from time, the Wolves ended the contest on a stunning note when Ricky Zuko scored this brilliant bicycle kick from another Bailey delivery, capping off the contest in style. So the Wolves march into the FFA Cup after needing extra time. 5-2 it finished, and Parramatta will live to fight another day after showing some heart. The next quarter-final saw Manly United meet the Northern Tigers at Cromer Park. After some disappointing results recently, Manly were hoping to turn their fortunes around in this one. The home side was sent into raptures in the 24th minute, 
as the elusive Brendan Chalakian was sent on his way, and he delivered a majestic ball to Jimmy Oates, who finished well to make it 1 0 to the home side. In true cup fashion though, the Northern Tigers never say die attitude lifted and they struck the equaliser in the 51st minute. Adam Taibbi proved to be a menace all night and he snuck the ball home well to level the game up at 1-1. Despite chances from both teams, that's how we'd finish after the 90 minutes. Both teams were sent into 30 minutes of extra time where neither could find a goal, ensuring a dreaded penalty shootout. Man United keeper Tony Lieben was the hero of the evening and he stole the headlines for his dramatic save before club captain Graham Forbes netted home the winning spot kick that sent Manly United on their way to a famous victory and a chance to stage a huge FFA Cup clash against a possible Hyundai A-League side. So Manly prevailing 5-3 in the shootout and into the FFA Cup they go. So close for the Tigers, but hope remains. The final quarter final saw Blacktown City FC take on men's State League one outfit Hakoa Sydney City East at Hensley Athletic Field. Blacktown City FC have been riding high this season and they hope to continue that form. But the visitors fell behind on 16 minutes when Neil Jablonski slotted the ball home to give Hokoa the lead. However, that lead would last all of a minute when Travis Major fired in to bring the sides level once more. and Major was to be the hero as he proved the difference on the night. His 73rd minute goal would seal the contest, securing his double and sending Blacktown City FC to the FFA Cup and into the semi-finals of the Waratah Cup. So 2-1 at finish, Blacktown progress, Okoa is still with a chance to book their place in the FFA Cup. Let's have a look at the draw for the FFA Cup qualification playoff round one. These fixtures will take place on the 4th of June. Sydney United 58 will meet Parramatta FC, whilst Okoa Sydney City FC meet the Northern Tigers. For all the action, keep an eye on the Football New South Wales website at footballnewsouthwales.com.au. That's all we have time for this time round. See you next time.